time travelers, I'm back again for another episode of Complex Vintage Shopping with singer, songwriter, Miguel. Ooh. Hello, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Always. sister store because you were kind of thinking that you wanted to start to source some inspiration for your fashion line, right? S1C? Yeah, I, I'd love to come back to my hometown, especially in the development of new ideas for S1C, mm -hmm. because it's it's been important for me to use this as a vehicle to tell my story and like what inspires me and where I come from. And San right. Pedro happens to be a haven for punk music, mm -hmm. um, especially in the 80s. Yeah. So I grew up close to one of the premier venues here that you think of Minutemen who mm -hmm. are pretty much a celebrated punk band. Yeah, They're no. from San Pedro. Oh, wow, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, Wow, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. But in terms of like art, art punk and like avant-garde punk stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of it happened here in the 80s. And I grew up just blocks away from like the main venue that most yeah. of the punks would be at. So I kind of got all the best of everything. I got the hood, mm -hmm. I'm Mexican and black. Yeah. And then I got punk culture as well, so. Yeah. I kind of got to see sort of the energy from all of that and then take what, you know, what what really was valuable and that's actually propelled me to be the kind of person with the beliefs um, that I think have pushed me to be where I'm at now and, and that's what yeah. S1C is about. So S1C is, is probably more than anything about finding perfect balance of the highs and lows that you would find in a place like this. You yeah. know what I mean? I think like one of my favorite things growing up was like, you'll pop up at a thrift store and you might come up on a Ralph Lauren <laughs> jacket yeah. or a Yves Saint Laurent, mm -hmm. you know, blazer or some pants that, you know, beautiful silk that you just couldn't find, right? right. And you'll find, you know, your favorite musician t-shirt or mm -hmm. so on and so forth. And I think now I'm at a point in my life where I always want to find those highs and lows in what I put together. Yeah. It's sort of like home for me, so mm -hmm. I wanted to create clothing that anyone could go to and find the highs and lows and also never have to think about whether or not it was produced sustainably or ethically. Yeah. And the hardest part for me has like been finding ill pieces and things that will stay and last mm -hmm. forever, but then, you know, I can't find any background about it, or right. you know, I don't know where it yeah, came from. Yeah, we love that, you know, because everybody's so up with their brands now. It's always, it's always nice. It's like a really special. It's like finding a treasure, you know, yeah. like yeah. deep sea diving. Like yeah, I'm is. just trying to be a pirate, you know right. what I mean? And, like, go you are get, a pirate. Go you and get my booty, you know what I mean? And, like hello. <laughs> So growing up here, because of the culture of um, longshoremen. What long is a longshoreman? Longshoremen basically load and unload like those huge crates. I mean, it's extremely dangerous. Lots of people died doing it. Oh, but shit. It pays really well. If you're a longshoreman in San Pedro, you have money. Okay. And that was like a, that was like a, a thing. You know, cool. So what kind of outfits kids. do they wear then? Well, I mean, it's generally workwear, mm -hmm. but you know, you'll catch a gilet, you right. know, this vibe, mm -hmm. nice puffer vibe, a nice, uh, you know, bomber, right, Scully, hat. as well as the fact that there's a there's a base here called Fort MacArthur. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a lot of military personnel are, are stationed here as well. So you right. get sort of a combination. So a lot of the inspiration for S1C comes from just seeing that and growing up around these different, like this sort of combination of like little bits of mm -hmm. workwear type things, but yeah. then like how do you dress that up? What does that look like? So I can't right. wait to roll that out in like right. in next like things that are coming yeah, yeah. to tell oh, the story. I can't wait to see. You. To right, be this. fair, I'm not saying anything right now. I'm like, <laughs> let's let's see if there's something in the long sleeves. I don't know. No. It's not really happening, huh? Yeah, no, it's it's, it's slim pickings for sure. Just, just a little it's bit. Slim just pickings, a little bit. It's okay. I feel like it's we're gonna so find right. something. Mm -hmm. 
You gotta love Nightmare Before Christmas, though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I love Jack Skellington. One of my favorites. I like this cover. Z Electric. That's Isn't that hard. fab? That's a hard. good graphic, right? That's so sick. Might have taken that one with me. Yeah, no, actually, it's really, really good. Right? Though. That's a good one. This yeah. can be my gift to you. Oh, oh. So For you. Kind. Thank you. What else can I do? I'm holding on. <laughs> can you tell me about what we have to look forward to from you, other yeah. than, you know, your next collection? You got anything coming up music wise? Just co produced a, a show in the UK called The Drop. Um, mm -hmm. It's a streetwear competition. It'll, oh, sick. Yeah, it'll be on BBC Three, which will air on terrestrial television mm -hmm. in January. And we took sort of completely different perspectives for it. There's, mm -hmm. there's a total of eight different uh, designers, brands, okay. and um, they're all completely different. And just to see them like kill every challenge, like in mm -hmm. designing and marketing and all the little things that go into building a, a, sustain, or a brand, excuse me, mm -hmm. um, it's just really, really dope. And they are all so talented. I'm actually really kind of fucking with this right now. What's that, like a little cardigan moment? Yeah, pull over. Oh, like cozy, I like the buttons. Right? Mm -hmm. This little cross here. Yeah. I would want this with no sleeves, though. Mm -hmm. Just cut them off. It could be like real distress, rip some more holes in it, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> I kind of, I still like this here for some reason. Thank you. Just the, mm, just for the, the archives. Vibe. Yeah, for that. So I'm here with PJ from Beacon House Thrift Shop in San Pedro, California. And today PJ is going to walk us through how they spot a true original. So a lot of the times we have a lot of men coming in and out of the house. So it becomes a little bit of a, a task to uh, show men how to verify clothes. But being one of the guys who've been here for quite some time and understanding uh, what it takes to have a red tag on it versus a regular tag is something that, uh, that, that I've become accustomed to because of some of my world travels. We can take a look and show you what we got. Yeah, let's find out what it takes to be a red tag. First off, uh, initial blemishes, stains, mm -hmm. uh, and that would immediately eliminate them from the exclusive pile. Right. From there, we would go into like what the stitching looks like, if it's a good or a poor job, mm -hmm. uh, understanding the type of fabrics and feeling them and understanding like this is denim, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and denim has a certain look to it, right? Going from there, the style, right? So, I mean, I think this is a great overall piece with mm -hmm. stripes and stars, perfect for any time, but mainly 4th of July. Can you tell me a little bit how you verify what this piece is, how it gets the red tag? So, a lot of times when they've got an original factory tag from Nordstrom's, you know mm -hmm. it's a pretty quality item, still got the um, made in care with the USA, you know, mm -hmm. um, great wool product. Absolutely. Sometimes the zippers are a great clue. Mm -hmm. uh, the lining, very nice lining on the inside. Nice. Definitely a great pick. We are 100% donation based, right? Okay. So um, we get a lot of donors because of them understanding what we represent mm -hmm. as the Beacon House, which is a men's treatment facility. So mm -hmm. understanding the fact that uh, the men that come there need help. Yeah. And so uh, a lot of families will donate because their um, son or, or father or whoever it may be is actually in the house. So yeah. uh, keeping that in mind, they, they have family members that sometimes pass away and, and they want to donate a whole bunch of stuff and, and we're willing to take all of that. Right. You know, we get anywhere from new inventory to used stuff mm -hmm. that, that doesn't quite make it onto the floor. Yeah. Uh, but we'll sort through that and figure out what's worth money and, and put it out. So can you tell me uh, a little bit about what, what you got today? Very selective pieces. The knit sort of cardigan, pullover cardigan here. Mm -hmm. Interesting because the old, I mean, it's like old DKNY, which, you know, right. in the 90s was like a vibe. Yeah. Obviously our homie with the guns. Yes. Because, you Living know, in his own little universe down there. He really <laughs> is, you know what I mean? He's, he's, uh, he's expressing his rage <laughs> with his best friend. I think there's something very, very, very sweet and admirable about this. I think. I mean, these Cop these moment. are your finds, and yeah. honestly, like S one C is all about inner rage from outer space. So, inner rage from outer space. Yeah, it's like all of I all of that. that, all of my musings from from those places. So yes. this was like a perfect find. Oh, Thank that's you. amazing! Thank you so yes, much. I Thank got you. you. Oh my god! Thank you. And this one was just a dope graphic. Yeah. That you also found in the colorway. Yeah, it's Come on, nice, man. Right? That's kind of Z Electric. Good. What is Z Electric? Z Electric's getting a hell of a plug. Right. Z Electric. <laughs> 
So with our discounts, your total comes to $15.56. That's how you know I'm from the hood. Let's do a little cha-ching. Yeah. Moment. Thank you, sir. Wow, this is very kind. This is right ahead. This feels a little weird. Yeah. It, I mean, it's good. I got you. Yeah, you know? I appreciate this. Money bags over kind. here. I see. <laughs> I want to thank you so much, PJ. Yeah, thank thanks, you guys. so much, Miguel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Beacon House, for having us here on another episode of Complex Vintage Shopping.